Sometimes I kind of just wing it based on what um, the crowds like that night. And really, the you don't have like you have. Do you have even a basic outline? What's in your head? Yes, okay. I usually have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do, and it's yeah. a good combination of stuff. But if people are wanting songs that are more upbeat, then I'm gonna play more songs that are upbeat. If yeah. it's kind of mellowing out, I'll do that. So that is really cool. And so like on this, it's like on the spot artwork. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kind of playing it. Um, do you are most say if you have like a, is it an hour set is your normal set? Or? Um, typically about an hour and then like a 10 minute break in another hour. So like the oh, crow's really? nest. Yeah. That's a two hour oh, that's gig. Long. It is long. I'm used to it though. <laughs> I've played three or four hour gigs straight. So <laughs> are, do you feel like spent by the time that's over? Um, not at first i feel like i have a lot of energy like it really fuels me oh, really? to be performing um but then about 30 minutes after i stop i just crash because <laughs> well, it's all this adrenaline you're yeah. all excited <laughs> you play this amazing music everybody's excited about it and then it's over yes, yeah. yeah yeah has there been okay i'm gonna i'm gonna dig in a little here it's do you remember like a show that you were just like oh my goodness it hurts to even think about it that was tough um or you just never had one well of those. <laughs> no i actually have and it was a couple of days ago so are you I, serious well yeah i was fighting a oh, cold the wound, <laughs> like the wound is like still fresh here yeah it was just painful like physically to sing because i was fighting a cold <laughs> all week and then i had a gig and i felt really good that day okay and then i sang for two hours straight and all of a sudden i just couldn't talk like my throat completely closed up on me and i was like i, I just gotta stop i oh was supposed goodness. to keep singing but i couldn't do it so <laughs> Okay, so that was the good one. How about, and I'm, I don't want you to answer this because I want to play one of your songs, but what was one of like the, think about one of like the, the best moments that you've had on stage. I okay. want to hear what that is. First, we're going to play one of your songs. So we're going to play um, Little Moon. Is that okay? Yeah. So Little Moon, what album is that from? Um, That is from the Little Moon EP. So that's one of the most recent releases of mine. Okay, cool. So that came out like... Maybe a year ago? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Was, Almost remember. exactly a year ago, actually. Is there any story behind Little Moon? Or two years ago. Wow. It's 2020. I um, yeah. I wrote it um, like a lullaby for a parent and a child. I don't have a kid, but I have a dog um, and a nanny. So I feel like it's, I kind of know what's going on. But yeah, I wrote it. Okay. Like that. So let's hear it called Little Moon from Katie Eakin on KSQD Santa Cruz.
You're listening to KSQD, Santa Cruz 90.7. That was Katie Eakin, Little Moon. So I want to hear it. We're ta- we talked about the worst, you know, the moment <laughs> in on stage. Got, and, you know, of course, the, the wound was, was you know, just so new. And that's, yeah. that was not nice of me to ask you a question. So I have to, like, change it around a little bit. Let's find out the good. So what's, like, in your music career, what is, like, oh, my goodness, what a great moment that was. Um, Besides the the times you performed at my events. Yes, which I yeah. loved. I mean, the next season was amazing. That so. was coming up March 20th, eventsantacruz.com. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Nice plug. Yes. Um, best, I think, just um, when you get to promote uh, the release of music. Okay. So my favorite, I was telling you, is like Kuwamba. Um, I did my Caught Up in You EP release there. Cool. And that space was amazing. And I got to play with a band. And just the energy with the band is so different because you get to interact with people. And yeah. it kind of brings the music, um, to like it gives it another life. When you play, I was trying to think, what's, as a musician, everybody has their different, you know, different likes of, the music industry some people like just to be in studio recording some people like to be on stage what is your thing or I, is it just the whole ball of, ball of wax <laughs> i like it all i used to love performing the most but okay. it changes um i've been writing and singing since i was 15 so it's been a little while but um now i actually really like the recording process so okay. being able to like give um songs a new life just like with a band that recording process it does the same thing and it's pretty amazing um just to be there through the entire thing and, and like watch this like thing come about from like nothing to something yes yeah. and adding all the layers and just getting a say in that is pretty incredible you probably also enjoy it more because at first it was all new to you mm-hmm. and now you have experience you have a couple albums under your belt yeah, yeah it's yeah. nice knowing a little bit more how the process works now i think it's yeah. always really exciting and i loved it um but really getting to um just have my input with the music a little bit more not like i didn't before but i think i just was a little unexperienced at like 18 years old going to record something i didn't know what i wanted to hear in the background yeah but now you kind of have that i yeah. kind of have a better yeah. you idea. know what you want yes yeah. i know the lingo well not really <laughs> that's but but you know <laughs> a little bit more about what you want you know like this is the direction this <laughs> is the feel this is a yeah yeah you can now know what you know what you don't before you didn't know now yeah. you know so you got this is you, you know you you had these couple of LPs you got some you know recently you've been gone things have happened in your life you got, you've been writing music yeah yes. you got do you feel like your writing has changed oh yeah recently definitely yeah. um yeah let's just dive into oh, it i, I, <laughs> I don't want to go that far but if you want to i'm just like yeah. Like, I mean, like yeah everything's happened life changes life yeah. changes <laughs> um things can really take a turn yeah. so um yeah i've i feel like i'm in a really good place yeah. i'm very happy but definitely just went through some struggles recently yeah. and um it's had a little bit of an angrier or like sassier feel (laughs) lyrically yeah not like so much chord melody wise i think it's still very true to who i am because your music was not sassy no not really it's pretty like happy and um yeah or the newer stuff is more like ambient and mellow and nice and yeah yeah, the newer stuff's just just a little bit of anger in there so you're writing (laughs) a lot and is that is that been enjoyable to actually like to write those songs yeah it has been because um i feel like as a songwriter you go through phases of writing there's like writer's block and um i never experienced writer's block for over like a couple of weeks and then within the last few years it'll be like month long writer's block and then i feel like really the last year of my life i didn't do a ton of writing and so i didn't even know if i could write and Which is probably scary a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah, because I'm like, wait, this is something that I love. Why can't yeah, I do it? And what then happened? all the <laughs> get your heart broken. <laughs> yeah, that helps. Yeah. yeah, that's what Taylor Swift says. It's true. Yes, yeah, she's yeah. got a lot of songs from that. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, so let's play another song, and then I want to find out how this all started. I mean, you said you started writing at 15, yeah. but I want to find out like how this like this music bug came into Katie, you know, to Katie. Um, Eakin's like heart how that this happened so let's play how about um I don't know do you want to play doors or somebody I will you pick oh it's um someday I will let's just do that one because it's a little newer okay let's do that but, somebody yeah. I will
Welcome back to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. We are here with Katie Eakin. So we were going to talk about some fun things about how she um, started in the music world, but she, we were talking and she mentioned some really bad experience. I said, stop, 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 stop. I want to hear what it is on the air. So you had a bad auditioning experience. I did. Isn't this a fun interview, by the way? <laughs> We're talking about the bad things. <laughs> no, but okay. So it was auditioning for a TV show, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and it was a audition in front of some producers and it was maybe five years ago, six years ago now. Um, and I just don't really like to audition at all. It makes me really nervous. I love to sing in front of people, but when it's specifically for like one person and I know they're judging me. Yeah, you're being judged. Yes. <laughs> but for some reason this day, I was not nervous. I felt really good. And I go into the room. I had waited like two hours at this point with like 30 other people. I go into the room. It's just me couple producers there's a tv uh, like a camera on me okay. and a mic but like a close-up camera and they want you to sing into the camera and so i start my song and all of a sudden it's like instead of my nerves giving me butterflies it just decided to affect my body oh, and no. um my mouth completely dried up to the point where my lips were like curled underneath oh, no. so like all you could see are teeth and i couldn't really sing and as that's happening and i'm struggling i'm like oh my gosh oh my gosh my armpits are sweating oh, no. and then my nose starts to run and they have the camera on me and they're looking at it and i'm like this is not good like i just wanted to get out of there oh, i got through the song they amazingly clapped for me and they're like okay let's hear another one and i heard it's good if they want you to sing another song okay. so i'm like okay it can't be that bad 
But the same thing happened with the next dog. Did you ask, can I have some water? No, I should have. I should have asked for a tissue. I should have asked for water yeah. or just like taken a moment or something. But I walked out of there with my nose still running oh, into no. my mouth. Like it was just the worst thing. That's awful. It's, I feel like just cringing thinking about yeah, that. It was yeah. painful. But they called me back the next year. So, you know, well, maybe they thought it was funny. You have talent. So is did you like basically close the book on TV auditioning after that point? Yeah, I think so. I think those shows are really cool and great opportunities for yeah. people. But um, there's something about auditioning. I just don't love it. Oh, I can't imagine. But yeah, no. there's a lot of stress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's play another song. But um, when we get back, then I want to find out how you got it into the music industry. So I'm going to let you pick. So we're going to play. I don't know. Do you want the Doors? Was that the one, yeah, one of your choices? Do doors. Okay, let's play The Doors by Katie Eakin. No snow fell, it was still cold as hell And you held my hand just right The drive back was dark, no lights But the stars, I thought I'd want to hold you tonight So I held you through the night Yeah, you held me through the night This could ever be This moment is all we get It's fine by me If we're lucky enough To get a couple more I'll Show you things that you've never seen before We're gonna open new doors We're gonna Welcome back to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. What was the name of that song, Katie? Doors. Doors. Is there any like secret meaning behind that song? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're not the first person to ask that this <laughs> month. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook. We're, we're, we're going to go straight into the why. So 15 years old, writing music. Was there like a before you started, you know, in your music career before 15 or like, give me this whole, like how this music bug hit you. 
Yeah, um, I grew up in a household full of music. My dad was a guitar player and a singer. Um, he was in a band. Um, any Rocky Road and the Chuckle fans out there, <laughs> that was their name. And Look they played at a lot of high schools. And people still come up to my dad today, like women in their 60s. And they go, are you Rocky? And they like stop him because they loved him. And he was like this fun Elvis type person so i grew up listening beach boys beatles elvis and cool. just loved it and then um tried to learn guitar when i was eight and my dad taught me a couple chords and said okay now it's time you, you teach yourself and i was like no and i put down the guitar and then at 15 i picked it up remembered the chords and taught myself and he was right wow cool yeah and what's the what's then the next new next like Radio, I guess the next phase of your career then I mean, are you gonna keep on going keep on making this album keep on touring and hey, what's what's the plan for Katie Eakin that is a lovely question yeah, um question. yeah loaded <laughs> but um you know I love music I love writing and um I have a handful of songs already that I would love to record so hopefully later this year I'll be able to work with um a producer that I worked with in the past that I just loved and get some new material out there Awesome. Okay. And then of course we know what's in your future is, um, at the where again, next the crow's week? nest. Um, and that's the 28th, that's right? That's the 28th at seven thirty PM and I'll be there for two hours. So, um, you just get your tickets at the door and come hang out for some fun music. Awesome. Cool. Well, let's play one more song. What's, um, this is, Oh, this is my daughter's favorite song. We're going to play <laughs> grown up fairy tale, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's play is grown up fairy tale. When did you wrote the song? Oh, I wrote that six, song. Six Ooh, I was probably ago? 28 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let, let's play. Oh, man. Let's play it. Cause she was three years old at the, when she yeah. wrote the song. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Eight years ago. <laughs> so let's play the song and then we'll end off a little bit more. And then we're going to have Spanner Design coming up after that. But let's play Grown Up Fairy Tale. no fairy tale it's as real as can be in you darling but just as out of reach as a prince would be to me you could lock me in a tower tell everyone and no one even come just like this love i have for you prison in itself cause you my frozen lips you think it's gross. gross and move on to the next princess you choose the bitter girl who doesn't even care well this fairy tale isn't very fair no this fairy tale isn't very fair 
That was Katie Eakin on KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7. It's over. Oh, no. (laughs) But my iTunes does not say it's over. (laughs) Um, Thank you very much for being on the show, Katie. Katie, it was awesome. Again, I wish we had another hour with you. Oh, thank you so much for having me. So I'm going to overdo it, but Crow's Nest, the 28th, just show up. The show starts at what time? 7.30. 7.30 at the door. We'll see you then. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you. 